now we're gonna do some sampling with this Casio Honer. Um, I have screen uh, shots on the upper left because it's impossible to read the screen. Um, you'll see we start with uh, selecting our source and we're gonna click into that. And then we're going to choose sampling, um, which is going to really be where we work for the moment. Uh, I will select sampling. I can see these options here. The first thing I need to do is set my length. The minimum length or the default length is 0.2 or 20 milliseconds, which is really short. Uh, but with 36 hertz, you can, I think, do over 12,000 milliseconds. So you can do a pretty long sample. You have two choices of 36 or 18 hertz. I chose 18 for this just for a little bit more fidelity. Um, now I have to select my voice, uh, and this is really important, and you have to make sure that you're not like overwriting anything you wanted, because that will be annoying. So finally, now we can actually start going to the sample screen, and we're going to choose auto sample today to make it really easy. And uh, that will, once I do that, I can just hit yes, and hit enter, and it is starting to sample. Now I'm going to turn it over and you know, make it so that I can hear both instruments because the micro preset only has a high and a low. So now I'm able to use both instruments using the micro preset sounds. I've got a nice bass on the owner side and then I'm doing a whistle on the micro preset. So you can hear the uh, fidelity on the owner is not terrible. It's actually, and it's really great for analog sounds like this. We'll have to try it with some vocals and maybe some guitar and some other, um, you know, more acoustic sounds to see how that sounds. But for me, you know, I think this is all about uh, going for something that sounds vintage 80s and not something that sounds, uh, you know, perfect. sample uh, fun stuff later.